tonight I made a new pasta dish that I kind of just came up with. It is a pasta version of my sausage stuffed mushrooms. I took one container of mild Italian sausage and I took it out of the casing. Now, if you can just find a package of ground Italian sausage, use that instead because it's easier, of course. I got my skillet heating to medium high heat. When all the sausage was done being removed from the casings, I went ahead and started cooking it. I chopped up three cloves of garlic. And when my sausage was almost done cooking, I went ahead and put the garlic in. Now, I like my Italian sausage in smaller pieces, so I did use a potato masher uh, to get them smaller. While that was all cooking together, I chopped up one container of white button mushrooms that I had washed. I kind of cut them thin. And then I went ahead and added those to my mixture in the skillet. And I cooked those till they were soft. And then I added one eight ounce package of spinach. I would probably go for the 10 ounce one because this didn't really leave me a bunch of spinach. I put the lid on it and let it wilt down. I tasted it for seasoning at this point and I did add some Cajun seasoning to it just because I went ahead and dropped my rigatoni in the boiling water and I put one softened block of cream cheese into my mixture and let it melt down and when it started melting I stirred it around the sausage mixture just so it got pretty well evenly distributed. When my pasta was done cooking I went ahead and took out about a cup of the pasta water in case I needed it for the sauce. I went ahead and drained my pasta. I put it back into the pot and I poured that sausage cream cheese mixture over it and stirred it in really well. Tasted it for seasoning. If you don't think it's got enough seasoning, you can always add some more. And remember I said this was um, like my sausage stuffed mushrooms. I put some breadcrumbs on top and some Parmesan cheese. Definitely toast the breadcrumbs first, which I forgot to do. And I gave it a taste and it was so good. I hope you like this recipe and enjoy it as much as we did.